Hello friends, in this particular video I am going to be explaining to you the working of this particular gas sensor available over here. So in this I am going to determine the amount of carbon dioxide available in the air and I am going to give an alert depending upon the concentration of it present over there. So before we go into the detail of this, we will just look into how it is working on an outline. I hope you can see that this is the cloud of carbon dioxide available in the air and if I move it closer, the buzzer is going to go on which is this one over here so as I move it close the buzzer goes on over here so it is telling it is giving an alert now air is not available there if I move it around over here you can see that now you are safe or clear and you could have noticed the green color light also over here LED and there is a red color LED so when the air is not too near the sensor, that is you are not in a carbon dioxide full area, what will happen is the green LED will be on which means you are safe. But if the near the sensor you are having more of these gas, the red LED goes on goes off, and the buzzer also goes on. So now we are going to look into this particular working of this particular concept. Okay, so now we will look into that in detail. So what are the components required over here? You require an Arduino microcontroller. We require a main gas sensor that is used over here. We require a buzzer to give us the alarm that you are in an area which is polluted. And we have an LED, green LED and a red LED over here. Each of them are connected to their resistors. And the LCD over here is for displaying those values over there. Okay, so we will look into these. All of these components are available on the right side over here. You need to play, pick and place them over there give the corresponding supply connections to each particular sensor, connect the corresponding ground terminals through the ground rail, and connect them to the corresponding Arduino ports. You may be aware that the particular sensor is connected to pin number A0 over here, which is this gas sensor. Similarly, you can see this blue color wire where the buzzer is connected to pin number 4. Similarly, you can see that the red LED is connected to pin number 2 and the green LED the yellow wire is connected to pin number 3. All of these are digital pins, whereas your carbon dioxide or gas sensor is connected to the analog pin A0 over here. You have the supply, you have the ground and all other pins that you see in green color over here are connected to this particular LCD module over here for display purposes. Now we will look into the particular program. So first line, you need to call the header program for the LC, crystal, liquid crystal display LCD. You have a header file for that and you are going to initialize the pins that you are going to be using over here. So the pin number 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, you can see that all the green color pins 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, all of these are connected to the LCD display over here. So you are going to initialize those pins over here. Next, you know that you are going to have a red LED, a green LED, you are having the gas sensor and you are having the buzzer. So all four of them are initialized over here as I told you over here. 2, 3 and 4 are used for them and the sensor is connected to A0. So all those pins are declared over here, 2, 3 and 4 and A0. All corresponding to the corresponding devices over here. Next, beyond a particular range, the particular buzzer should go on and below a particular range, it should go off. Whatever that particular limitations you need to specify, I'm going to specify that with this particular variable of the sensor threshold. Okay, so sensor threshold is the particular limitation that I'm specifying. I can change this to any value depending upon my requirement. If I want it to be more far away, I need to change this value. If there is more pollution closer, then I'll have to change the value accordingly. So this, this value is now fixed over here to be a value of 400. You can change it while you change the program. Now, I next to initialize which pin is input and which pin is output over here. So you can see that the LED is an output, green LED is an output. Your buzzer is going to be an output pin, whereas your sensor, you're going to get an input from the sensor and put it into your microcontroller. So that alone is going to be the input pin over here. And next you know that your LCD is going to have 16 rows and two col 16 columns and two rows over here. So that is your dis uh, dis display over here. And I'm going to display these values on the serial monitor. So I'll be using the serial beginning, serial begin with a baud rate of 9600 bits per second. Next, I'm going to go into the repeated part over here. So if my value is greater than this value, what should be done? If my value is less than that value, what should be done? So I have the if and my else condition. You're going to look into that. So before that, I, I, as I told you, we have the particular name of this particular sensor as sensor. Okay, the value of this gas sensor as sensor. I need to store this value into a variable. And what is the name of that variable that I'm going to store it into? I'm going to name it as analog value. So I'm going to read an analog data 
from a not pin that is this guest sensor and i'm going to put it into a particular analog value variable so what operation am i going to do analog read reading an analog data where am i reading it from the gas sensor what is the name of the gas sensor that i've given over here sensor which is connected to n not so from sensor i'm analog reading a value and storing it into analog value and this analog value is an integer so i don't have to separately describe this line over here on the top integer analog value i don't have to give it on top over here as a separate value i can merge them together into a single line over here next what am i going to do this analog value needs to be displayed on the serial monitor one after the other one line after the other so i am going to give serial print serial dot print ln one line after the other now my condition comes into picture if my analog value that i am reading is greater than the threshold value what is my threshold value it is 400 that i have described over here if it is greater than this threshold value these lines will be executed if it is less than that particular value these lines are going to be executed okay so what is going to happen over here if it is greater than the threshold value what does it mean that i am close enough to the sensor so what is going to happen the red led is going to be on the green led is going to be low so red led on over here green led low over here and you can see that the buzzer if you want to change the tone of your buzzer you're going to change the value over here okay so this value is to change the particular value of your tone of your buzzer and this is the delay how much time is it going to be on okay so this is one second on over here and this is the value of the tone that you are going to hear from okay so i'm going to clear my lcd and i'm going to set my cursor in the particular position of zero throw first column over there and what am i going to display alert because i am in that particular range i'm going to give alert and after one one second what am i going to do in that same place it's uh, after alert i'm going to give go to a safe place if there is too much of gas over there this is what i'm going to be display and after one second it is going to repeat again if i am in the range great less than 400 okay sorry greater than 400 now if i am in a value less than 400 what is going to happen i am in a safer zone if it is less than 4000 means the gas is away from the sensor which means you are away from the particular gas so which means the green led is high over here and the red led is low so which means the buzzer there is not going to be any tone at all okay here we had a tone with buzzer with the particular value what uh, what the sound is going to be and the delay but here you may be aware that the buzzer should not go on so the equivalent keyword for that is no tone of buzzer okay next one what is going to happen over here you are going to clear the lcd display and you are going to display safe over there and similarly over here what you are going to display you are going to display all clear which means you are far away from that so this is one that is going to happen over here so now this is what we saw in the working earlier and we will be looking to that again once more and you can understand i just change this value of 50 i hope you remember the sound now for 50 what is the sound that is coming over here so now you have this particular smoke over here when you click on the sensor you will get this smoke of value you can see that it is 306 it is not greater than 400 so you are seeing that led is off and green led is on over there and red led is off and your particular safe and all clear is displayed so as you move closer you can see that on the serial monitor the value keeps on increasing over here so when you go for around 400 you can see that it goes on what is the sound is for this particular number every second it is on but you know here so what if i need to change the sound so what am i going to do is over here i am going to change this value for example from 50 i am going to change it to 100 okay if i change it to 100 you can see a change in this particular sound over here okay so now you move it closer the change in sound okay so now from this second value so depending upon this second value over here you can change the tone of your particular buzzer so this second value determines that and how long is it going to be on is determined by this particular value over here okay so if it is 10000 it is going to be an entirely loud sound please adjust with me for a few seconds okay so as i bring it closer it is going to be on but much longer okay so i hope you are able to understand the working of this particular gas sensor okay so if there is gas available near the sensor which means the sensor is next to you, near to you it will give you an alert and that is in the form of an lcd output it is also in the form of a particular red led over here and it is also in the form of a buzzer so you are having an alert system of an unwanted gas available here i hope you are able to understand this particular concept thank you